Hey everyone, welcome to Blip Trip. Today we are going to talk about video players for the NVIDIA Shield. Now we've talked about video players before, we've even talked about the one that we're going to feature here, the Arcos video player, a little bit. But today we're going to go into greater detail, tell you why it's one of my favorite video players and why you need to get it, install it as an app on your NVIDIA Shield. We will be back with Arcos video player only on Blip Trip. Hey, welcome back everyone to Blip Trip. First, when you're done with this video, if you liked it, please subscribe to our channel and also click on notifications so every time we put out a video about a new game or a new NVIDIA Shield thing or a stand-up arcade, you will get a notification that there is a new video to watch. So like I said, today we're going to talk about the Arcos video player and we've talked about video players before and we've talked about Arcos a little bit. Today we're going to go into more detail and I'm going to show you why it's one of my favorite video players. Now, there is Plex, there is Cody's, there are all kinds of things out there to play uh, videos on. There are all kinds of ways to uh, stream videos to your television. There are all kinds of ways to load your videos on a server and uh, watch them on your NVIDIA Shield. One of the preferred ways I like to watch movies is to have an external drive load my movies on them and watch them directly off of a video player. I get no lag, no draw off, I get uh, perfect quality every time and I can put huge size files, huge video sizes in there. Um, unlike, uh, and I can do that on some of the other things too, except it's really hard for them to stream, it's really hard for them to play. So the Arcos video player, uh, you know, I found it, I used to use VLC and once I found Arcos, I just fell in love with it and it was just my go-to. So I have two external drives on my NVIDIA Shield. One is, a, both are two terabytes. One is full of movies and television. One is uh, for video games. So when you open up the Arcos video player, and it is available in the um, um, Google Play Store, uh, there is a paid version and there is a free version. And the paid version says it allows it to be ad-free. I have never seen an ad once on this free version. I do not know why. Uh, they offer a paid version. If you do, leave a comment below if there's some sort of feature I'm missing out here, but it seems like everything is functional. So, the top row is your recently added movies, recently played, your movies themselves, TV shows, networks and fi network and files, and preferences. So, if we go to network and files, you can see the external drives. If I click on the external drive, you can see the folder I keep my movies in, and you can see the folder I keep my TV shows in. So we're going to come back out of that, and it lets you create a playlist, check your internal memory for stuff, network. Uh, we're going to go first to preferences, and there's a few things I want to make sure you have checked, or I definitely like to have checked. Uh, these top video options, first there's an upgrade to add free version, again, I have no idea what the paid version does for you. I have never seen an ad on here, and the entire time we do this, you will not see an ad come up in any way, shape, or form on this free version. So, uh, I leave these unchecked. I do check hide subtitles by default. When you're watching a movie, if you decide you need subtitles, um, you can download them instantly. If you have a movie that plays subtitles, you can turn them on uh, when you're watching the movie. But uh, this way, I don't have subtitles pop up every time, and I have to turn them off every time. Um, TV show sort order. Let's you sort your TV shows by name, date premiered, sort by rating, recently added episodes first, so I prefer it by name, you might prefer a different way. Um, I stay away from all of these, synchronized TV shows and movie collection, I check that. Uh, the sync tracked resume position, and I like that on, and everything else here, the cre uh, create remote thumbnails, I check on, resume points and position bookmarks on network automatically get descriptions for new videos and down at the bottom you'll see a TV shows and movies if you click on the TV show part it's just asking you uh, if you want to uh, adjust the language or enable fan art I'm not quite sure what that does but I checked it and on movies it just lets you uh, specify uh, language so that is the preferences so we're going to come out of that and now we're going to go up and we are going to look at 
movies. So it sets you up a few ways to look at your movies. You can look at all of your movies. You can look at movies by genre. Or you can look at movies by year. So we're going to start out looking at all of the movies here. And you can see the box art is clear, big. I like it like this. You can change this if you go up to the top here. And those three lines at the top, if I click on them, it's going to take us out. And when we go back in, our movies are listed a different way. Now, there's nothing wrong with this at all, except it cuts off the box art. And I don't really like that. Um, so um, I usually keep it the other way. Uh, but this is, you know, a little more uh, a stream to, uh, um, you know, see more on the screen at a time. I'm going to click back on that, and we're going to go back to all of our movies, and there we go. Now we've got the full box art, and uh, all of our movies are listed. So you can see it, when you load your movies up on the drive and I plug it in, it goes through, and it takes a little bit, but it pulls all the box art for it. And then if I do a... Um, movie, let's say like Star Wars, I won't play a lot of this, I don't want to get busted for copyright infringement, so when you click on a movie, it comes up, it shows you uh, the title, those who use Plex will be very familiar with how uh, things like this look, and you see so you get Star Wars, you get the uh, quick synopsis of the movie, uh, if there's subtitles available that you have with it, or you can download and get the subtitles online. The actual file that you're playing, notice this is a 15 gig uh, uh, version of Star Wars, and it's a big one. It's crystal clear. The sound is uh, beautiful, and I prefer it uh, on my movies if I have big files uh, so I can enjoy them in the best possible version that I can. Here it goes on with the plot information about the director and actors you can watch the trailer for the movie you can change the poster that you clicked on to come in here and then you can change the background so um, you can see in the background if I didn't care for that I could click uh, here and now the background has changed now if we go back to the top we have uh, you can mark it a, you can uh, I'd been watching this earlier there's resume uh, play from the beginning, mark as watched, remove from library, remove the description, delete it, or add to a list. So you can see remove the description. So when it went through, it found this movie, it found the description, it found the box art, but sometimes it can grab the wrong information, and sometimes it can't find it because the file is named in such a way it doesn't understand what you're looking for. So you can tell it to remove the description, and when you do that, the wording comes up to uh, add a description and when you click on it uh, it comes up with a text box you type in the name of the movie you're looking for and it gives you all kinds of so if I typed in Star Wars it shows the box art for all the Star Wars movies um, everything Star Wars and you could find the one that you're looking for click on it and it'll fill in all the information the way it needs to be so we're going to come out of this As you can see, it's real smooth. Um, you know, I don't have any problems with um, um, looking at my movies or opening them or anything like that. Um, let's go back up to uh, our Star Wars. And let's tell it we want to play from the beginning. And I'll show you some features you have while you're watching a movie. So what's going on, it's looking at the file, it's pulling the movie up, and then it's going to play from the beginning. And here's our movie starting up. I can pause just like most video players that you see. I can fast forward. You see down the bottom we've got time, uh, how far it's ran so far, and um, you can see it looks great, it plays smooth. Now here, it's asking, I, I, I pushed up on the arrow key, it's asking if I want to use a subtitle, um, it, it's telling me if I want to, I can get a subtitle online, or I can go through the settings if I need to change something, I can get information, I can original, I can full screen it, I can audio boost it, I can night mode the audio, uh, the play mode, 
uh, if I want to repeat the movie uh, or play a whole folder and then this will take you back to your preferences so we're going to come out of that we're going to come out of our Star Wars movie and you can see um, if we wanted to come back to this later we can resume at exactly the point that we left off on the movie so when we come out of this if we wanted to look at movies by genre action adventure animation comedy documentary drama family fantasy history horror you go through and you can see everything that you have that it categorizes as a horror movie you can also go over and look at movies by year and I have some older stuff on here. I've got it going back all the way to 1931 for Dracula and Frankenstein. And so you can go way back on your years for the information and the box art for stuff. All the way up to your newest releases. So now we're going to come out of that and we are going to look at... TV shows. So we come over to TV shows and you can see underneath it it shows you how many episodes or how many seasons of that show that I have. So Gilligan's Island we have three seasons uh, where you go to um, you know Big Bang Theory where we have 11 seasons. And if we click on it you get the same uh, options that you have here. Details, uh, change info for all episodes, marked as watched, and when you go down, you get the box art for that season, and you can um, go to the exact episode that you want. Now, when you're loading in the TV series, just like with Plex or anything else like that that you load TV series in, you need to make sure that if you're loading it in that you have every episode, because it's going to go through and start naming them. And if you're missing an episode, it's going to go through and uh, name it in the order that it thinks it is. It's important that in your file name for it that you have the season number and the episode number for it so you can find that specific um, episode when you're looking for it. So we'll click on Big Brother and you can see it has the season on box art. It's got the information. It's got the subtitles. It's got the file, uh, the description. We can change the poster and we can change the background. The only thing different here is you get a next episode option where you can click on it and go to the next episode. And, uh, you know, this is where you can go through and add a playlist uh, and play the exact, every Big Bang episode that you like. Maybe get rid of some you don't really care for uh, if you wanted to throw something else into it because you just wanted to veg out and uh, set and watch certain shows in certain ways. That's where you could do it. So we're going to play Big Bang Theory. You can see it plays smooth. It looks great. And now we are going to come out. And as you can see on the recently played, it shows that we looked at Star Wars. We looked at Big Bang. We could go right back into Star Wars and we could um, pick up right where we left off. And when you load new movies in, uh, when I do get new movies or I have stuff I want to add to it, I just unplug the drive, take it to my PC, load the movies on it, plug it back in, and I'm ready to go. So you get a whole video store right in here. And again, like I said, it's just an option for Unplex and things that require servers that go through a network. And, um, you know, I just think my videos play faster, clearer. Uh, I could put bigger files. Um, I could put 4K movies on a... Um, uh, external hard drive and I can watch it all through the uh, Arcos video player now let's go over real quick to the Google Play Store and I want to show you where you can see the Arcos video player application because there's another application I want you to download with it and you can use the microphone. Sometimes I have an issue with my microphone in the Google Play Store. If anybody else has that or if you have a fix for it or maybe it's just me, leave a comment below. So when I do this, I get the Arco Video Player, the free version. I have it installed. The Arco's Video Player paid version. Again, if anyone knows what you get with the paid version that you don't get on the free version, please leave a comment below. But when you 
come here, you will see an all codex for the Arcos video. And codex are uh, information that's put into your video player that allows you to play different video extensions. So whether you're playing a um, uh, AVI file versus an MKV file or something like that, it's nice to have all the codecs for things. Now, by itself, without this, you can play a lot of different video extensions. You're not going to have a lot of issues. But you can come across an oddball thing once in a while, especially if you're uploading stuff like things you record off camcorder, home movies, maybe stuff off a phone. Uh, it's always nice to have the codex. And this is real simple to install. When you click on once you have your Arcos Video Player installed, you, you can go back, get the all codex, click on it. When it opens up, it won't ask if you want to add the codex, click it, does it all by itself put some where they need to go you don't have to do anything else so nice to go in and get all the codecs and get the Arcos uh, video player so that is the Arcos video player and that is what we're featuring in this video it's one of our favorite video players if you don't have it get it and this is another reason to get an Nvidia Shield a great way to watch movies and a great player to watch those movies on and this is Blip Trip. And again, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit that subscribe button so you will get to uh, uh, hit the uh, notification button. I'm sorry, the bell so that you will get updated in upcoming videos uh, that we're going to provide for you. So for Blip Trip, have a great day. We'll see you soon.